Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Check this out. This is a big solar panel. This is a 200 watt solar panel from ATEM Power, Atom Power. But they sent this to me to review. I'm not making a dime on it like everything that I review. It also does have the controller in it, and the controller in it is a 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, this thing is a setup to charge car batteries, and, and you can just sit out in the sun if you're broke down somewhere, hook this thing on your battery, and charge your car battery right up. We're going to read off a few of the specs here. This is not the cheap little solar panels either. This is the monocrystalline. Uh, it's a folding solar panel, of course. It's got hinges and a couple latches. You latch it, we'll take it out of the box here in a little bit, or out of the package. Uh, it does have a sturdy aluminum frame and heavy-duty aluminum handles. It says it does have adjustable and strong legs times two and anti-slip rubber feet. The controller is 1224 volt, five meter long Anderson plug on one end, and then it's got battery cables to put on your battery on the other end. It also has a five volt, one amp USB socket on the controller in here. This is the controller manual. This is for the panel. So the panel specs here says max power is 160 watt, 200 watt. And then it says open circuit voltage is 22.5 volts. Short circuit voltage, 11.62 amp. Uh, maximum power voltage is 18.4 volt. Maximum power current is 8.70 amp and 10.87 amp because this is 12 or 24. Uh, maximum system current is 1000 volts DC. Temperature cycling range minus 40 Celsius to plus 85 Celsius. The weight is 5.57 kilogram. The dimensions of this is 137 by 74 by 2.5 centimeters. And the tolerance is plus or minus 2%. And then this is the manual for the controller. I've not tested one like this yet. I've only tested out the, the more flexible, folding, lightweight solar panels. I've not tested a big, powerful one like this yet. So the controller is 20 amp, like I said earlier. The related voltage is 12, 24 auto work. Over voltage, 16 volt. And then 24 volts is times that times two for 24 volt. Discharge recovery voltage, 11.5 and times two for that for 24 volt. Uh, USB, it does have one USB on it, which I said is five volt, one amp. So basically you can take this thing, you can plug in things that are USB and power them no problem with the USB. You can take these alligator clips on here, put them on your battery, charge your battery. But that's also, you could take that 12 volt DC and you can charge a lot of other things. You can get you an adapter so you can charge up your portable power stations. You could run pretty much anything 12 volt DC uh, even a power supply to power other things with it. So uh, really actually a pretty handy unit. Uh, more for home use, more than taking out, but you could take this out somewhere and put it in your vehicle and take it out with you on a camp trip or whatever. Take it with your camper, it'd be good, or a big uh, overland adventure. You want real good power to charge your battery. If somebody has a dead battery, this thing ought to do it. Let's take it out of this package. It's pretty good size, so as you can see, so hopefully I can get it out and kind of set it up here on this table I have because of the size. Okay, it does have a couple buckles right here on top. So it does have a couple aluminum fold-out legs on here that I got folded down. And that's about the angle it's going to sit. Scoot this more into the frame, see if we can get the whole thing in the frame here. Uh, so it's pretty good size, but it is nice and heavy built with this aluminum frame. And as I said, these are high quality solar panels. Let me turn this around and show you the back of it. Okay, so on the back of it here, you can see these are the folding legs I was talking about. It has one of these on each side, like so. It also has these nice metal latches, so it latches down, keep it shut. And it also has a good aluminum strong handle. And this is a good, nice aluminum channel frame that it's made into. Also the frame in the middle and the good looks like stainless steel hinges. And then here is our charging cable. We got a long cable here. We can just unwrap it. Unwrap it from right here off these brackets. And then this is our Anderson connector where we plug in our cable. Okay, these are our alligator clips. They look like actually fairly decent ones. The rubber things don't want to stay on here too, too good, don't look like, but they'll work good for charging a battery up. And then of course your Anderson connector just plugs in like so. You can't really plug these in wrong. They only go one way and you can see it goes positive and negative right there. So we just need to take this thing out, put it in the sun, see if it's gonna charge a battery or not. Okay, you can see how they got this linked together. This panel here 
to this panel here with a jumper and then we run off of these to our controller right here and then out of our controller we have the 12 volt out to charge battery and here's our USB 5 volt 1 amp that we can plug into it also has a couple things on here it tells us lights it says solar uh, lead and then battery tells us obviously the charge of the battery by what it lights up here so pretty cool setup let's take it outside okay as you can see we got about 15 foot of cable here plenty of cable to hook this up i go down right here you can see how long this is so lots of cable problem is as soon as i get all this set up a cloud come over and i'm hoping it goes away it's pretty big so i may have to wait till tomorrow when the sun is out bright but right now i'm not going to get enough voltage for nothing I need pretty good sunlight to do this but all i have to do is connect this to my battery and then plug this in and i'll be ready to go so i can actually go ahead and hook up my leads on here onto the battery and now whenever the sun does come out all i have to do is plug in my anderson connector and i'm ready to go but we'll test the voltage on it. i did bring a meter and we will first test the voltage on the jeep here itself and the voltage right now is 12.128 volts DC if we get some sunlight here where this thing will start working it actually is glowing the little lights glowing but I'm sure it's not putting out no voltage or not enough to do anything until we get some sun because it's total overcast now with the clouds up there so I'll wait here a little bit if it doesn't come out bright and sunny hopefully tomorrow or in a day or so we'll get some sun we can hook it up and check it but it's actually going to be a pretty cool device Okay guys, I did want to mention a couple things. I was looking at some of the specs on this and the size of this thing is actually 53.94 inches wide and it is 29.13 inches tall. Okay, so just one of the panels, this half here, and the same thing it'd be when it's folded up is 27 inches by 29 inches. You can tell that you're gonna be, of course, half the size when you fold it up. Of course, as I said, this is 200 watt. This is mono crystalline and i'll tell you a little bit about it that i've been reading on these monocrystalline solar panels have the highest efficiency rates typically in the 15 to 20 percent range the high efficiency rates means they produce more power per square foot and are therefore very space efficient uh, they perform better than similar rated polycrystalline solar panels in low light conditions Another good thing to know about monocrystalline is that they have a high lifespan. They last a long time and they typically, it says that they will outlast their warranty that people put on these. So they're actually a real good panel, real good quality panel. And as soon as we get some sun, we're going to test this 200 watt monocrystalline panel out. If the sun comes out today, if not, I'll continue tomorrow. Okay, we have got sun. So I'm going to test the power on my solar panel. And it shows that we got 15.12 volts. Of course, it won't be that when we put the load on it. Our battery is 12.25. Now I've got the battery connected to the solar panel. It's not full sun, not full power, but it is charging. And it would charge the battery, but it would just take a long time. So definitely in a full day, we're going to get a lot of power out of this thing and charge this battery a lot faster. But I'm happy with that. And I do got my cell phone plugged into the usb and it is working charging has a little lightning bolt on there so the usb part works and i'm happy with that so this is a very cool solar panel should be super handy for charging batteries and like i said you can hook other things up to this 12 volt and make it work if you have some converters uh, it's not made for charging lithium ion batteries but you could charge lithium batteries with it if you know what you're doing and how to uh, make a controller to do it or buy one but thank you guys for watching click the thumbs up subscribe to my channel catch you on the next one right on